as we've talked about before, the hand position is very important. The right hand position is very important with the French horn. Remember to have it cupped, move it slightly in at about 3 o'clock, and until the fingers start to crunch, not covering the bell. The right hand can also be used to adjust intonation. On the trumpet, we had first and third valve slides we could use to adjust intonation on the fly. On the French horn, both hands are being used to hold the instrument. So one of the ways that we can go sharp or flat is to use the right hand. So if we want to go, if we want to play a note sharper, we, ray, we, we push the hand, we flatten it out on the bell. Okay, we open the door to the bell to make the note go sharp. If we wanted to go flat, we close the door and that makes the note go flat. So open, sharp, closed, flat. So here's that demonstration. <laughs> And sharp, flat, and sharp. Now, when it comes to horn stopping or playing a stopped note on the horn, how we do that is by taking the right hand, doing our normal hand position, and then closing the door all the way so that almost no air can escape. So it looks like that. We're not just jamming the hand in farther, we're closing the door and sealing off, making sure that our thumb is still close to the palm. Okay? And what that's going to do is make the pitch sound very, very nasally, almost like a muted trumpet. That is a stopped G in the staff. Now, when we play stopped horn, the only change to the pitch is that it goes up by a half a step. Because what we're doing is basically cutting off the last portion of the bell here. So it's going to make the pitch go up a half step. So what we need to do is finger a half step lower. So if I play a written G, okay, but now if I stop that note, it goes up by a half step. But if I play second valve, that produces the correct sounding pitch. So remember, when you are stopping the note by closing the door all the way and cutting off the bell so that barely any air and sound escape, you are raising the pitch by half of a step. And to compensate for that, we need to finger down a half step from the note that is written on the page.